All the color has gone out of John and Garfield's lives. The only way to bring it back is for them to take a vacation. The question is, where shall they go? Hawaii? Stop the molten lava. <laughs> you're cute. But you're not that cute. Acapulco? Sombrero and a beautiful senorita. I will attempt to impress her by doing a hat dance. Or Venice. Where to next, Contessa? How about to my place for some lasagna? I guess Garfield wants to meet a girl no matter where they go. It turns out... We're going camping! I'll try to contain my excitement. Ho-hum. I'd feel the same way, Garfield. They go to the woods where they learn on the radio that a panther has escaped from the local zoo and is lurking at Lake Robogon. Then the radio plays. That song was heartfelt in Here Comes Garfield, but here it's hilarious, especially after the news of the panther. Garfield wants to leave, but John assures him, Lake Wobegon is miles from here. We're as safe as can be, trust me. You really need to brush up on your geography, John. Whenever people talk about things that scared them as a child, I'm surprised no one has brought up the panther from this special. Just look at him. Even now he's creepy. We don't see him very often, but the other characters make it clear that he's dangerous. Just listen to Dickie Beaver, voiced by Hal Smith, describe his encounter. What it did to a friend of mine is too ghastly to repeat. Then, it pulled itself up to its full height and steered right at me. <laughs> right through me, <laughs> with those eyes. Those eyes, as if I were next. <laughs> Dickie is the only one who has seen it and lived to tell about it. The only one to live to tell about it? That panther don't mess around. While Garfield avoided fighting the claws in the previous special, he took on the panther when it tried to attack John and Odie. Wow. And to think when he met Billy Rabbit. Oh, please, please don't eat me, Mr. Beast. I'm too young to go. I have a wife and nine kids. I am no good for you. I have a high cholesterol content. I, you'd make my mother very angry. I, I want to live, do you hear me? Big difference. Garfield in the Rough has always been one of my favorite specials growing up as a kid because it balances the humor and the horror very well. And plus, the pamphlet is what makes this special so memorable. Garfield in the Rough is also the first special to be produced by the newly formed Film Ramon Studio. Founded by Phil Ramone, the studio was created because Charles Schultz no longer wanted Bill Melendez and Lee Mendelssohn working on the specials because it was a conflict of interest. So from here on out, all future specials would be produced by Phil Ramone. <laughs>